This is our crib. In today's video, I am very, very excited about sharing this with you guys. I feel like it took forever, one, to record it, and then two, just to share it. I've shared um, bits and pieces on my blog, but I really wanted to do a full video because this space was very, very personal to me and very important that we brought it to life. In January, my husband and I welcomed our third baby boy. His name is Taven Noah. While pregnant with him, once we found out that it was a boy, I knew that I wanted to do some type of gender neutral, minimalist look. I'm a person who, when I see like a lot of color, I kind of get overwhelmed. <laughs> so having just the simple black and white and like a pop of a neutral tone, I knew that was something I was looking for. I actually had some inspiration that I found on Pinterest. Um, I'll leave you guys some inspo. Um, but I knew that I wanted to do this as cheap as possible, but I also wanted it to look very nice, very modern and what we came up with, I truly, truly love it. So we'll start with the crib. So, so this is our crib. It's falling. It's okay. This is our crib. So the crib, I actually am going to leave the name on the screen. I found it on offer up for free. It was originally this gray color and I knew that I wanted it to give a light and airy color. So I ended up going with white. I wanted, um, well, actually, before then, I was going to do a wood color. So I had sanded really, really good, and I was going to do a neutral color. But being pregnant, sawing the wood, um, it was a very hard process, harder than I anticipated. So I just decided to go ahead and paint it um, white. So that's what I did. I took my time. It was kind of a labor of love with myself and then my two older boys and my husband when he was off of work. I knew that. Yeah, I wanted it to be white and cute and I think that we did a very good job at the paint and it just really looks really really good for the so wall, for the wall I, knew I, wanted I wanted to do a board and batten wall and I needed it to be renter friendly so what I did was I watched a ton of different DIY videos and I came across one I'm going to leave it down in the comments and it was so helpful um Tayari and I went to our local um Lowe's and we spent about $12 and they cut it perfect to size so we measured the wall length and then we measured um, from there down um, and once they measured it uh, once we knew our measurements they cut it for us and then we came home so originally to make it renter friendly we needed to use the um pill and stick the heavy duty ones that you kind of can use for your mirrors so originally i wanted that boho theme so i was on youtube one day and i came across melina's vlog of her doing her son's boho nursery theme so i was like oh i can diy this myself as well so her and her husband used a regular cardboard box i think and they cut out the shape so tayari and i got the idea to actually get the cereal box and cut it out to shape so it started off pretty good i was like okay i like this it's working and then something happened and it went kind of left and I just decided okay you know what I don't like the way these lines are turning out I messed them up so we just went ahead and painted the top all black and I actually do not regret it I think it turned out very well and it absolutely complements the space okay guys we just finished hell in the woods to the wall and I guess Nisha's about to paint it white. yes so we're about to paint it white huh? So this is a better um, view of it. Like Tayari was saying, um, I'm about to go paint the wall, um, the borders. Um, I had bought a new roller, but it's the wrong size. I didn't use a lot of nails. I used maybe one nail per, per board. And then across, I used maybe like three nails. Um, but the nails weren't big. They weren't big holes. So when I do move, I plan on filling it in and then painting it. But I really love how it came out. I feel like it's the perfect accent wall. Um, it's just, it's just perfect. And then for the black paint, we also got that paint from Lowe's as well. So we did a black, a black at the top and the board and batten walls. I just love this accent wall. 
it was my first time actually painting walls any color other than white and i think we did a pretty good job i'm so content with the space and then on tiktok i found these um six by 16 by eight is it 16 by 8 16 by 12 i can't think of the measurements but i'm gonna leave them on the screen and we printed out his name and his meaning of it um and his name is Taven noah i do want to add something in the middle i'm not sure the video that i watched on tiktok that was my inspo she had three photos but i really think i do love just the two his first name and then his middle name we got those printed at our local Wal walgreens and we got the frames from walmart they were like maybe seven dollars when we talk about wall decor i knew that this was going to be my chance my opportunity to incorporate more woods tones so what i did was i got these nice um shelves i got them from five below they were five dollars each they were the perfect size. from five below they come in a variety of colors they come in like a wood tones white and black I opted for black because we're going for a black and white modern theme. And then I just added these cute little pieces um, that were personal to us. We got his 4D imaging done when I was about 35 weeks, um, which was the first time that we got 4D imaging of any of the boys or any of our children. Um, so that was very sweet. And I wanted to kind of put that up because when I was pregnant with him, I remember rubbing my, butt, my belly, wondering like, what is his face? What is his future going to look like? So to see that on the wall as we were counting down to his birth was a great reminder and then also i really love this rainbow it was kind of hard for me to find wood tones um toys wooden toys that were available in store but i got this one from dollar tree so if you guys want to purchase that one on your own you can they have a lot of cute ones that i actually saw the other day when i was in dollar tree but that's where i got the rainbow from and then his little moccasins I love moccasins. Uh, I've wanted them since I had my oldest son, Tamir. So when I found these ones at um, at Old Navy, I knew that I definitely had to have them. And then I also needed a pop of greenery. <laughs> I found this little plant here at Ikea. And then um, there was a cute little book that I added to his Amazon storefront for his um baby sh baby registry and then just the letter t because my husband's name is Tayari, so all of our boys name starts with a t now onto the dresser when i originally bought this dresser i well actually when i got the dresser i got it for free um on facebook marketplace and it was this green color and i knew that that wasn't gonna be the vibe i was going for in the nursery so i went ahead and painted it the same white that i painted the boarding walls with in the crib is the same white that i used for uh, the dresser and then I went ahead and ordered the knobs from Amazon all of the links to everything that I'm mentioning is going to be down in the description but I bought these knobs you get was it 12 or 20 of them for like six dollars couldn't beat that um and I got those in black as well um and yeah and then I really wanted a storage where I can have like his necessities at the top where um I could store his you know diapers, powder, lotions, um, Vaseline, things that will be easy to grab. So I've got this wooden um, basket from my local Ross and it was $8.99. And then also I knew that I wanted to have a cute little mirror to just see not only myself, but I take pictures with him in the mirror and it's just gorgeous. I got it from Ross as well and I believe it was like $15 or something like that. Um, so I'm not able to add links for Ross items, but I knew that I wanted his nursery to be in our room um, because we are in a two bedroom now. So our boy, our older boys are sharing a room and then I knew that I wanted him to be close where I can hear him when we transition him to the crib. So when he takes nap time and sometimes um during bedtime he'll stand there for like you know an hour or so um i knew that i knew it. i wanted him to be close where i could be um in you know quick to nurse and get to him so this is our uh nursery within our master bedroom and i hope that you
hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one.